Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna do a pack with me. I'm getting ready for vacation and thought I would bring you along. So let's get started. So far over here, I've got my toiletry bag, which is all my medicines, hair, blah, blah, blah. Uh, makeup and some under things, pajamas. I bring two sets. We do have washer and dryer in the condo. Undies and beach cover-ups. We are going on a beach vacation. Now, typically what I do, since we do have washer and dryer, I'm only gonna pack four pair of shorts. Right, because doesn't that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. So four pair of shorts plus we have laundry, remember. And then I'm packing three, like seven t-shirts to go with these four pair of shorts. So in theory, I'll have two t-shirts for each pair of shorts, plus I'll have the shorts I'm wearing down there which will be like gym short type stuff. In my toiletry bag, I should show you how I, what I bring. I do bring my washcloth. This has the loofah on the side. So in here I have like hotel size shampoo and conditioner. I do pack small things. Um, I definitely pack shout wipes because of coffee, right? <laughs> I have a little perfume, um, some toothpaste, flossers, just your regular stuff. I like these toothbrushes because I can open it up and then it closes up small and I can throw it away. Um, my nose spray, any kind of medicine that you might need, some first aid stuff. I always pack a nail file for sure. Hairspray, hairbrush. My actual medicine I'll pack and put in a carry-on, like in the car bag with me, just so it doesn't get lost. But this is my Pelotonia toiletry bag, and this is a nice bag. It's very heavy. If I was flying, I would reevaluate half of the things that I'm packing. Makeup, in case we go out, which I don't think we're going to because, you know, COVID. Now, I also have a sundress in here in case, you know, we do something nice. Um, since it's a beach vacation, I am packing three bathing suits, so I'm leaving a couple at home. These are two-piece. They're tankinis from Lane Bryant. I've showed them to you before. Uh, but they take up a lot of room because they are two pieces. And they are they have a substantial top. Not that I have a substantial top, but they are designed that way. So, bathing suits. I'm also going to throw in a beach towel. Again, we have laundry. No need to bring more than one beach towel with me. Uh, any type of entertainment stuff goes in a backpack. So this is just my luggage. Now I have room in here, so I'm going to put, I have a 40 ounce water bottle. And that's for the beach. And there's room, so I'm just going to toss it in here. Right, because that's important stuff. Ooh. That's important stuff. And then I just cover it with clothing. It's not going to get broken or anything. I also bring an extra pair of glasses for a couple reasons. These are my old glasses, but the prescription is exactly the same. These will be my beach sunglasses. I don't want to wear my current prescription to the beach because sand, salt, and then my beach bag. So what I'll do is put my, leave my sunglasses in here. Instead of purchasing prescription sunglasses, because with my vision I have to wear glasses, my uh, insurance covers um, it covers, what is it, transition lenses to sunglasses. Now, before I shut this all up, I'm going to need shoes. And let me move this. So I'll show you what I have here. Okay. I travel a fair bit, right? So I have this tub of all kinds of travel stuff, like these quick spot. You, if you're traveling on the airplane, this Velcro is onto the handle of your luggage, and then it's easier to spot if everybody has a black suitcase. So I have these that I keep. These shower caps I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Um, 
you want to check them out first. These are nice shower caps. They're big and they're sturdy and a nice fabric. I don't use it for shower. I put my sandals or whatever shoes I'm packing in here and it will keep any dirt and things off my clothes and any sand out of my clothes when I come home. So I need, I'll probably bring two pair of sandals. I think I have another one open, but if I don't, that's fine. I'll just open one to have. I grabbed a few of these uh, for different trips, but again, it was this specific brand that I saw at the Dollar Tree that I grabbed. So that's for a second pair of shoes, if you take water shoes or anything like that. Typically, if I travel airline again, I put my um, liquids, even if it's going in my luggage, in a very sturdy Ziploc bag. These are from Ikea. They're considered reusable. They're very thick quality. If something were to break in my luggage, having it inside of a zip top is very important. Now, I'm not flying at this point, so I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, luggage tags are very important again if you're flying you definitely want to have some type of a luggage tag with your information on it and also if you're flying especially nowadays you should take a copy of your ID your driver's license your passport whatever and put it in your luggage along with the luggage tag if anything gets lost they'll be able to find you um, gosh I have all kinds of stuff in here in here I have different tote bags to take. So I learned when going to abroad, grocery stores don't typically give you a bag. You have to buy them or I bring these. I got this when we were in Paris and it's something I take when we go traveling and it's a folded up grocery sack along with these. So I put them in my backpack, one or two. Typically, I take these two because they fold up pretty flat, and they're both a decent size. And then if we're out shopping or buying things or at the grocery, we have our own bags to use instead of getting bags from the store or not having a bag at all. Oh, I lost some of my zip bags. Um, another thing is important to carry or have, especially depending where you're going, is a poncho. When I went to London and Edinburgh, we had ponchos with us because you just never know when it's going to rain. So I have ponchos and again, dollar store. Um, these little bags are super handy in your luggage, in your suitcase, in your backpack. Um, to hold, like these are good for pens, pencils, sunglasses, anything that's going to be tall. These little things for your money, chapstick, just so you can grab quickly. You don't want to be somewhere fumbling in a bag looking for stuff. You're just going to look like a tourist, and that's not ever good. Um, I keep my compression socks in here for when I fly, especially long distances. If I'm going overseas, you want to wear these during the flight. It's about the only time I have to wear them, so I keep them in my travel bin. Um, I picked up these at Target on clearance for, um, I think they were like 75% off, but what they are is container bottles. They're the real soft ones, soap, shampoo, lotion. Again, if you're traveling, the weight of your luggage counts. If it goes over 50 pounds, you're going to get charged. So I picked these up when they were on clearance, threw them in here. We'll have them when we travel. I don't know why I have a bath bomb in here. And the same thing at Target, I got these tech bags on clearance. They are water resistant. Um, they will hold tech and gear. And these are great for like, here, I can take them out of this one. If you hear, it's like rain material and drawstring. So they're not waterproof, but they are certainly water resistant. And this is good to put your electronics in, chargers, your memory bank, or your power banks, your phone, cameras, and just keep them in your backpack. They're easy to grab, but they also will protect your electronics from potentially getting water or something spilled on them. And they keep everything organized. So I always grab four bags like these, and I picked up two to have. Whenever my family and I travel, we always just kind of dig through these pouches and this bucket and we find what we need 
But these are good to have if you see them and you're going to travel anywhere, really. It doesn't have to be international. They're just good to have in your backpack or your bag to keep things separate and protected. Because it's nothing worse than being on vacation and having your water or something spill and ruin your phone, ruin your camera, ruin your memories, really. I have three more of these. I just pick them up when I see them. Those are just reusable bags. I have travel tissue that I bought on couponing and just threw it in here. I have more shower caps. Um, I got these for travel as well. Um, these are a little thicker than a zip bag and they hold in my luggage wet. Hairspray, shampoo, things that are going to possibly spill or leak. I'm all about putting that type of stuff in plastic to keep it from ruining or getting on my clothing. More tissue. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree and they work pretty good. If you want to condense your clothing, you put them in here and these are vacuum ones. So the only problem is when you get to where you're going, if you don't have a vacuum, you can't... Um, you know, re-vacuum, but the alternative to that are these. And these are um, three compression sacks for packing and you roll them and it pushes the air out. So it takes up less room in your luggage. So I have two sets of these and each of them has three in it. So whenever, again, whenever we're traveling, I may put underwear, bras, t-shirts, whatever, wherever we're going in the couple of these and you roll them up and the air comes out and it just creates more space. But remember, space equals weight. So that's something you've got to be conscious of. These were for cruising, especially. When you, if you've ever been on a cruise, you get those paper tags. And what these do is it's a zip, it's a zip top. You put your luggage tag in here and then there's a metal ring and you put that on your luggage and when you're at the ship, this is for your ship's luggage tag, not for your personal information, although you could put both in here, but then they know where to deliver your luggage and it's not going to get ripped up or lost. And these are completely reusable. I got them on Amazon years ago, probably eight or nine dollars. I think they, they call them cruise ship tags and I have four of them, in, three of them in here. I'm not cruising anytime soon, but you never know. I think it came in an eight pack and we used them like I gave some away. And then these are the metal rings that you would use to hold it onto your luggage. Because that's a big thing. Once the ship takes off, if you don't have your clothing, you're kind of in trouble, right? Um, speaking of cruising or non-international travel, so for local in the States travel, I have one of these. And it's great. Um, it plugs in and it's a plug here for USB, two USB and three outlets. So if you're charging things, this is great. A lot of hotel rooms do not have enough outlets to charge all your things. And this does have a push. So it depends on which direction your plug is. You can turn this so it fits. It's not stuck in one position. So if your plug goes this way, you can plug it in and use that as a plug. And then there's also, it came with an adapter. I'm not exactly sure what we're adapting, but it came with one. Um, and this is the Belkin brand. It's a mini surge protector. And that's what you want for like a cruise ship is a surge protector, but it also protects your electronics. I think this was 10 or $11, but well worth it for travel, especially if you're sharing a room and there's going to be a lot of things to charge. Because you can do your two USBs here and then maybe a brick in one of these two or two bricks and plug your USB in. So that work, that is important if you're going to be traveling some place that you don't think there'll be enough um, outlets. I carry this with me. It holds my passport when I'm going international, travel documents, things of that nature. There's lots of pockets. For like credit cards, travel docs, like I said, um, in here, in here holds your passport, monies, and then it zips up 
and it, there's a pocket up front, but it keeps all of your things together. You can use this for anywhere, but I typically use something like this if I'm going international and I have a lot of travel documents that I need to keep track of. This is a great thing for that. Um, I ordered these. They're bricks, blocks on Amazon. They're pretty cheap and they go in your luggage and keep things separated. I have a set of those. Laundry bags are great to have, especially if you're not going to be doing laundry. You can. This was from the Dollar Tree. Just throw it in your luggage and put all your dirty stuff. And what I tend to do is put a couple dryer sheets in one in here if I'm not going to have laundry facilities and it keeps things fresh because that's important. Um, I do have some bungee cords <laughs> in here when we cruise. I've been on a lot of cruises. Um, we used to get balcony rooms. And this will hold your balcony door open at night so you can hear the ocean. It's amazing. So I just keep them in here for that. And let's put some things away. So this is honestly just my little travel tub that when I pack, I can reach in here and see the things that I need. And if I keep everything together, then I know where it's at. These are from a cruising group. And this is a luggage strap. It's adjustable. It does two things. One, it's going to keep your luggage shut if your zipper breaks. So that's important, right? Because nobody wants their undies all over the conveyor belt. But it also um, is an identifier for your luggage. Mine says Cruising Buddies. That was our group that I used to travel with. I mean, I still will, but I haven't in years. Um, so I have several of these, and they you make them adjustable, and they just attach to your luggage. When you get where you're going, you know which suitcase is yours, and it's shut. I have, see I have, oh, that's a running belt that'll hold your phone. But if you're going somewhere, traveling, and you need to put your phone in something, um, there's two compartments, one for your keys, and this thing will stretch to hold your telephone, and then that side holds, like, your keys depends what you're doing that was given to me another luggage strap another luggage strap oh and a scale these are great if you are again traveling anywhere that you need to make sure that your luggage is of the right weight so you hook this on your luggage and you lift it by this and it will tell you how heavy your luggage is they have digital ones too but I've had this for years it works and it keeps me from being anxious that when I get to the airport, you know, I'm going to have to sort my luggage out or pay like $100 in over fees. Clearly, I don't keep this organized, um, but I just, you know, it goes in the closet with my luggage. And then when I'm packing to go somewhere, I know where all that stuff is. Um... Yeah, I think that's everything. I have to go collect some shoes to put in here, and then that just goes in my luggage. I'll show you how they go. Maybe I'll bring a pair. Uh, here, I'll pack these. These are getting packed to go. I actually ran these through the washer so they, I know they're clean, but these are just my beach flip-flops. I mean, they get a lot of use, trust me. But... You just put them in there. And this would actually hold two pair of flip-flops. But you put it in there. Nothing zips, but it's just going to keep the dirt and debris from getting inside your luggage. And then I'll lay those over here. I have one more pair, and then I'll wear a pair of shoes. And guys, that is everything. I am all packed clothing-wise for my vacation. I hope you enjoy, and you guys have a good one and peace out.